What's good, YouTube? It's your boy D Money here, back with another banger video, man. And today, as you guys can see by the title, man, chosen ones. You were a late bloomer to success in life. You feel me? Before we start this video, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. A lot of you guys are watching the vids, but aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps support the channel. Also, comment down below what you guys want to see next. And I got y'all, man. Y'all been showing me so much love, and I really do appreciate that. Now, before we start this video, guys, like I always state, take everything that I say with a grain of salt, you feel me? My perspective might change a day, two days, year from now. Who knows? We're constantly growing. And if you're not growing, what are you doing? Also, guys, I love hearing the stories, the messages. You guys are such a big inspiration to me, man. Honestly, man, I read all the comments and you guys are motivating me every single day and inspiring me every single day to keep grinding, keep doing what I'm doing and keep posting videos for you guys. I hope I'm doing the same thing for you guys. You feel me? And if you guys have something to say that's more personal, you don't want to put it in the comment section, let me know on Instagram. You feel me? I do check it out. It might be a little late, but I do check it out because I'm not always on there. You feel me? And if you guys do not agree with what I'm saying, please let me know in the comment section. I'm understanding. I'm understanding. You feel me? I got an open mind. This is an open minded channel. Now check me out. Y'all see, I'm just leaning back. I'm chilling because my dog all over me and stuff whatnot. You feel me? It is what it is. But I'm going to still get this message out to y'all because I felt like y'all needed it. Now listen, bro. Y'all have always been that 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 little kid, bro. I'm going to be honest with y'all. If y'all look at me now, if y'all see some of my videos, if I post videos on Instagram about me working out and whatnot, you guys see me. I'm like 6'3". I'm 240 pounds. I'm cutting right now. But you guys, like, you guys gotta like realize, like, I started late. I was a late bloomer, guys. I was a premature baby. People didn't think I was gonna be this big. Not even my family. Not even the people around me. They never thought I was gonna be this big. You feel me? And it's kind of a shock to a lot of people, guys. And what I'm trying to get at right now, guys, is that even though you small, even though you underdeveloped right now, later on down the road, you gonna come out to be the biggest and the best version of yourself. You feel me? You, Cause you one of a kind. So whatever it is that you have been going through in life, you know, people used to make fun of you for being small. People used to make fun of you for not actually getting and comprehending things off the rip. By you putting in that hard work, by you putting in that, I might not have been the most gifted athlete. I may not have been the most, you know what I'm saying, talented, but I put the work in. You feel me? You may not have been the, the, the smartest person, but you read those books. You feel me? You may not have been the most, uh, you know, gifted at talking to uh, girls or communicating. Let's say, just say communicating. You may not have been, but you went You went outside and you practiced. You just put yourself out there. You took a leap of faith. You feel me? Guys, we, we all don't start at the top, man. Nobody starts at the top. You have to work your way up there, man. You, re you really, truly have to work your way up there. You feel me? Like all these plants, all these trees can be tall. You feel me? All these trees can be tall. You could be a small little, you know what I'm saying? A small little tree and everybody else is five feet taller than you, bruh. But all that matters is when you putting that work in over time and, and over, the, over the period, you become strong. You feel me? Anybody that gets success overnight, it never lasts pretty, it never lasts long. Success never lasts long when it's given to you overnight. But somebody that's putting in that work for years and years that success is always there to stay because they got people that's genuine that's that's genuinely rocking with them they got you know business corporations that's genuinely rocking with them not because of the success they got over somebody giving them you know what i'm saying a little credit and, and a little clout no you know what i'm saying you did all the work for yourself you put all the work in you made all the connections you did all this for yourself you feel me and these people you you just a late bloomer that's all it is. You may not have been getting out there talking to a lot of people, communicating, doing everything that you need to do. You feel me? And that's just, it wasn't meant for you. I feel like everything happens for a reason and a season, guys. I truly say this all the time. Everything happens for a reason and a season. You started off, you was the smallest kid on the football team. And then look at you. When you got to high school, you was probably the biggest guy. You was 6'5", whatever. Playing sports, throwing 100 miles an hour. I used to play baseball, guys. I was never one of the, I was, I'm not gonna say I was the biggest kid, but I was like, you know, for me, for me to be premature, people never thought that I would be as big as I am right now. People would have never thought that. You feel me? For me being a quiet kid, people would have never thought that I would, you know, be able to have communication skills and be able to have, hold conversations like I do with certain people, with certain individuals. Because I, I truly do, you feel me? 
I was, I was, I was a quiet kid. I always sat back in the cut, and I still do to this day because I'm always trying to figure somebody out. You feel me? Just because I don't have it all figured out right now, don't mean I'm not gonna have it figured out in, in, a, in a later on down the road. Guys, you look at people on social media right now, and you see the lifestyle that they're living. You see that everything that they got going on right now, man. You, you just a late bloomer. Don't think that you, you, you never gonna be where you need to be. You don't think that. Don't think that you're not gonna be successful, because you will be as long as you steady putting in that work. Some of these people got it overnight, and overnight success don't always last. You feel me? Just as fast as they can get it, just as fast as they can have it taken away. But if you put in that work for years and years and years, you're not gonna let nobody just take away what you work hard for. You feel me? Social media got us so wrapped up in believing that you gotta have everything at a certain age, that you gotta have everything lined up and perfect right now. Nobody has it perfect. People that are in their 40s and their 50s still trying to figure it out, bro. We still learning. I tell you guys at the beginning of all my videos, guys, you know what I'm saying? I might perspective might change a day, two days, a year from now. Who knows? We're constantly growing. And that's the thing with life. You're constantly growing. You're not going to have everything figured out, man. You're going to be a late bloomer to certain things and certain aspects in your life. You may not be able to have all the communication skills, but you may be able to have all the physical skills. You may not have, you know what I'm saying, uh, just certain abilities. Some of you guys used to look at yourself in the mirror, and you probably do right now. Some of you guys are young. And you say to yourself, hey, I'm not handsome. I'm not cute. I'm not this. I'm not that. You know what I'm saying? People would never love me, bro. Watch when you watch when you get older. The older you get, the handsome, the more handsome you're gonna get, the more pretty you're gonna get. You feel me? A lot of people, a lot of people peak when they're early. A lot of people get, you know, look real good. They, they, they look real good when they're early. But when it gets down to when they're in their 35s and their 40s and their 50s, they look like beaten shot. You feel me? People tell me all the time. They be like, bro, you look so young, bro. Why you why you look so young? You can't grow a beard, nothing this, bro. It took me long time just to grow this look but you can't grow it i'd rather look young right now because when i get older i'm gonna still look young and y'all y'all gonna look old what do y'all want out of life i'd rather be that late bloomer that come around later and then sprout up and while everybody is decreasing i'm steady rising i'm steady shooting for the i'm steady shooting for the planets that's me that's what i want to be guys i don't know about you man i don't know about y'all chosen ones but i'd rather be a late bloomer Maybe not in all aspects, but I want people to be, I want I want people to look at me as the underdog. So when I come up, they're not expecting me to be the come up. You feel me? So now on that path, I don't got the distractions. I don't got the people that's trying to block my block my way. Even though you still gonna have that, it is what it is, but it's gonna be it's gonna be less. You know what I'm saying? People gonna doubt you from the rip, so they gonna they gonna assume that you can't do what it is that they do. So they gonna see they gonna see you as they're not gonna see you as competition. You feel me? You was a small kid in school. You was a small kid, but you put that work in. You was in the gym. You was doing what you had to do. You was eating your eating your greens. And look at you. You turned up and you became the competition to talk around town. You feel me? You wasn't the most handsome or the most beautiful girl in school in high school. But when you got to college, when you when you turned 20, when you turned 21, 25, you glowed up and now you looking good. You feel me? You was that quiet kid, but now you saw observant. You can, you know what I'm saying, pinpoint who's right for you or who's not. You know what I'm saying? You you didn't always have those communication skills, but now look at you. You out there putting yourself out there, and now you're able to talk to masses. You feel me? You able to learn. You was able to sit back for those entire years and learn. Now you have now you have two skills because you know some people know how to communicate, but they don't know how to listen. You feel me? You was always that guy that knew how to listen. And now it's easier for you to communicate because you can go out there and communicate all day, all day. But it's harder for you to listen and comprehend what somebody's saying. You feel me? Somebody can say you can talk about it all day. You could talk about your relationship. You could talk about, you know, what I'm saying anything and everything. But what matters if you listen and if you comprehend what that person is saying, you was already doing that. So everything happens for a reason in the season. What what you was going through, just because you didn't have the communication skills, you you one thing that you lacked in, you you excelled in another. So now you already have the comprehension skills and the listening skills. Now it just takes you from getting outside to going and talk to people to be able to communicate. Boom, you feel me? You wasn't that handsome. You wasn't that handsome in high school. You know, you wasn't that beautiful in high school. You wasn't that pretty in high school. So you had to, you know what I'm saying? You had to, you had to, find other ways to get people to like you so now you funny now you have a personality you feel me those that peaked in high school that was beautiful and all that you notice that helps how some girls and some people they don't know how to hold conversations they don't know how to talk to people they don't they don't have anything interesting about themselves because they so beautiful they so handsome you feel me all they have is the looks they don't have the the mindset they don't have the ability to talk to people 
So everything happens for a reason in a season, guys. You might have been a late bloomer for some things, for certain other things, but it worked out for the best. You, By you not being as handsome as you thought you would have uh, as been or people thinking that you that handsome, you compromised in other situations. You got fit. You feel me? You able to talk to people. You have a personality. People that was already handsome and that was already beautiful and, and pretty, shit, hey, they, they probably don't even have a, a personality. All they know how to do is just look good, take pictures and do that. They don't have, they can't hold a conversation. They can't make me laugh. You feel me? You were small, but you put the work in. Now you, now you, now you two sizes bigger than everybody else. You stronger than everybody else because you put the work in. I rather, I rather be, I rather put, I rather have the work ethic than the, than the talent because I know I'm, a, I can out, outwork talent. I can. It's gonna be hard, but I can outwork it. You feel me? Bro, I'm trying to tell y'all, man, just because you a late bloomer don't mean that everything that happened, you know what I'm saying? That, that just because you a late bloomer don't mean that you're not going to be successful in life, bro. Everything happens on its own time. Just because you ain't got that nice house, the nice car right now don't mean that you're not going to have it later on down the road. You know how to now you know how to manage your money. You know how to save up. You know how to, you know what I'm saying? You got a little work ethic. You know how to go and get it. You got that hustle because you ain't never have it. You ain't have it right now. So now you got that hustle. Just because you ain't got it right now, just because you a late bloomer don't mean that every other thing that you got going on for yourself ain't what, you know what I'm saying? Because some people look at you right now, some people look at you and they be like, dang, I wish I had what that person had. And you a late bloomer. Some people be like, I wish I was able to, you know what I'm saying, communicate and, and not judge and, and, and know how to hold a conversation and, 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 and be myself around other people. A lot of people can't do that, man. They, they act as if they something different. They following that, that, that status quo because of what somebody else put them in. You a handsome, you a pretty girl. This is how you supposed to act. You feel me? Come on, man. Take care of yourself, your mind, your body, and your soul, bro. I'm telling you. Being a late bloomer, it ain't not, it ain't all bad. It ain't all bad. It might have been bad for that moment, for that storm, for that period of time. But lacking in certain situations, lacking in certain areas helped you help help raise the bar in, in other aspects. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, it's a yin and a yang. Just because you wasn't handsome or you wasn't pretty made you build a, a, a character. You know what I'm saying? It made you build personality. It made you build, you know what I'm saying? Being funny and all this stuff. Just because you wasn't, just because you wasn't talented, it, it made you, you know, gain a good work ethic. A guy can't even speak, y'all. A good work ethic. So now you got good work ethic and you about to grow up and you about to grow into a bigger person. So now you got good work ethic and you got talent now. You got gifts. Come on, bro. Everything happens for a reason and a season. You just delayed. You just, God was just, you know, seeing who was going to actually be there for you. And he was just giving you that ability to see who was really going to rock with you for you. If you was going, if they was going to love you for you or if they was going to love you for the, you know what I'm saying, uh, talents that they was already blessed early on with. You feel me? Take care of yourself, man. Your mind, your body, and your soul. I hope y'all rock with this video. I feel like this video was a was a dope video, man. You feel me? My boy Cash was over here chilling out. He's still right next to me doing all type of stuff, bro. But you know, when you're feeling it from the heart, you can just get it out. Don't matter what he got going on, what somebody else is doing, all the distractions. I'm going to make a video on distractions too, man. Because when you when you in tune with yourself, you don't care what other people are doing on the outside. You feel me? Make sure you guys are drinking y'all's water, meditating, getting that sun. I really do appreciate y'all for stopping by, showing me love, doing all that, bro. I really do appreciate that y'all are my family, and I love hearing the stories, the messages, all of it. You feel me? Y'all been smashing that like button, and I really do appreciate that. Y'all said, stop down playing my videos, stop down playing the likes. So I'm gonna get y'all what y'all asked for, man. Let's try to get 120 likes on this video, man. Y'all been smashing it, and I really do appreciate that. Once again, I really do appreciate 5K subscribers, man. We're on the road to 10K. We got it every single day, and we ain't stopping, you dig? I got the pranks, I got the vlogs, I got what you need. All you need to do is subscribe to me. I'm out of here, man. Peace.